What's going on? It's your boy, The Real Cologne, man. I miss you guys. I know you guys miss me. Where y'all been at, man? Where y'all been at? No, I'm joking. Where have I been? I've been writing songs. I've been producing, just figuring out things outside of YouTube, outside of music. You know, I'm not done doing the parodies. I'm just putting that same energy that I put into the parodies into songs for the actual artist. So that's what this video is about. Y'all see the title? So we're going to jump right into it. So, yes, it's true. I finally got a song with Bryson Tiller. I made a parody. I made two parodies of him a couple years back. I finally got the opportunity to produce for him. The bad part about that is the song leaked. It was supposed to come out like two years ago. It ended up leaking on the internet two months ago. We just found out about it. A lot of people were DMing us and telling us, and oh, what this? I check it out. It's legit. So, you know, I'm happy. I'm really thrilled that I was able to do that. But I'm also sad because it didn't come out the formal way that, you know, we all would have hoped for. Because, you know, when sometimes when it comes to a leak, you know, you don't get paid from it. Um, sometimes the song don't come out at all. Sometimes it do, sometimes it don't. It depends on the artist. But, you know, that's the situation. We we finally got one with him. And it was a great, it's a great thing. Like, I'm really happy. Like, you know, that's one of my favorite artists. And I'm happy that I'm able to work with him. But, you know, that's just the reality of it. But what I can say, since working with him, I've been able to work with other artists that I've done videos about. Like, I can't say that now because, you know, I don't want to be the leaker. But a couple people that I've done videos about, I've been able to produce for them and do music for them. And, you know, I just pray and I really hope that those songs come out the right way. But I'm ecstatic. Like, I'm excited. I'm happy that my career is definitely going in the direction that I wanted it to go in because a lot of you guys know me as, you know, I do parodies and this and that, but I'm an actual songwriter producer. Like I do this for a living. I write songs for people. I produce for people. I executively produce. I A&R, like music is my life. That's what I do. So I'm just happy that I'm in the industry and I'm happy that I'm living out my dreams. And I just want to thank like all of you guys for supporting my videos and supporting me because I feel like without doing YouTube, I wouldn't have become a better writer, I wouldn't have been a better producer, and just, you know, a lot of you guys found me through YouTube, and a lot of you guys reached out to work with me through YouTube, so I can never turn my back on you guys, but I'm not done with the parodies, I'm not done with dropping videos, it's just, I'd rather come to you guys and say, listen, I produced for so-and-so, hey, y'all remember I did a video about, you know, man, look, man, we done did 20 songs together, so I want to do that because I feel like it's a shared experience between the both of us because we can laugh at it like, man, remember I did a parody of him and now we got three songs together or y'all think that I do good on the songs. Now, imagine how these same songs would sound with the artist. So, you know, that's just what I'm working on. That's what I'm working towards. Um, I appreciate the love. I appreciate just the continuous comments like every year the Kendrick video blow up. The Brent video blows up and you know I'm you know I'm I'm happy. I'm proud. I feel like I made a lasting impact um on the music industry. Like who knows in a couple years like what my channel is could be a, a demo land or it could be a demo city like where artists just pick songs. Like a lot of people don't have open demos. My channel could be an open demo to where people see it and they okay I want this song, I sell it to them or let me remix this and just you know different things like that but I truly appreciate the love that I've been getting. I appreciate you guys. And yeah, that's been my life. That's the real Kalam. That's what I've been up on. But I finally got one with Bryson Tiller. It just didn't happen the way that I wanted to. You know, maybe this is a big blessing in disguise. I don't know. But more videos coming soon. I'm going to do more. I'm going to explain more. I'm going to like teach you guys. Like instead of, okay, if I don't do a parody, okay, I'm going to teach you guys how to rap. I'm going to teach you guys how to sing. I'm going to teach you guys how to stay in your pocket, how to do this, how to do that. Because at the end of the day, some of you guys do music and you hit me up on the DM, but I can explain it full length right here. So we do what we can, man. It's a blessing. It's your boy, The Real Cologne. You already know how we live and you already know how we feeling. We just doing everything we can to possibly be better. So thank you guys. Appreciate the love. More videos coming soon. More love, more blessings, more everything. Hopefully the other songs that I got with these artists come out the proper way, but you know how that go, man. It's the industry. So I love you guys. Peace.